That's a holding call on Ashman. Now it's back to the line. Eklund will uncork the uh -oh. shot. Big juicy rebound in front. They score. Austin Watson pounces on a loose puck and snaps it home past Patterson. You couldn't have asked for a more fortuitous bounce if you're the Peterborough Pizza. And Watson was right there to uh, bury it behind Patterson. And the Pete's on the power play have made it 1-0. Now Marcini. Marcini left it there. A nifty little pass oh, to Pumple upstairs. Nice. And fighting that shot off Patterson. Both goaltenders coming up with some... Very stylish save so far in this go. hockey game. Brennan's on left it there for Schwartz, who closes oh, in, and man. a glove Good save by save. D'Agostini again. As this kid is putting on a clinic so far in the game, as, as he used Trocek as a bit of a decoy in front of the net. How about another chance? Sod, he has it again in the high slot, gets the rest. Oh, oh, score! What a shot! Brandon Sod, well, you knew the jig was going to be up sooner or later as D'Agostini couldn't stop them all. Oh, that was just a howitzer off the stick of Brandon Sod. I don't know if uh, wow. Jerry Cheevers could have stopped that one. I just feel bad for the mesh on the net. That had to hurt. Wow, Brandon Sod with an absolutely heavy shot whipped home. It's 1-1 and a shorthanded goal for the Spirit. He overskated the puck, and here comes Schwartz. Schwartz says, Sod zeroing into oh, front of the net. He scores. Day. Well served there by Schwartz. Three away from 100 assists as a member of the Spirit. After that play engineered in front to the two-goal man, Brandon Sod. He found a little crack between the pads of the goaltender, D'Agostini, and wired it home. Four minutes play. deep into the third, and that was a good play. And I think Ashman got the other assist as Tatarin trying to counter. There for the piece in front, and they score. Larson gets the goal as Ashman gets that other assist, but that's a moot point now as the Peets come back and counter indeed as Larson gets the goal for Peterborough. Siska looks for a man. He gets it back in Ashman as the play is ratcheted up here in the Peterborough zone. A chance to Brock. Oh, Brandon Sod has three good, on the night. Good goal. Brandon Sod, I'll tell you what. He knows where to go, and he knows what to do with it promptly when it's on his stick. Siska's well, probably thinking to himself, what do I got to do to get a goal after three great chances? And Brandon Sod. Well, Sod's ranked high in the oh. upcoming draft, and that, this is a perfect example uh, Are you kidding me? This, is, this guy, just he's just got it all. Robertson in his own zone will sling it ahead. Again, the dangerous Watson lurking at the red line. Here comes Marcini. Marcini peels to the outside. Pumple and Watson in formidable duo. Oh. Pete's in front of the net, and Cuckoo gets the shot away, and he... Rifles at home, and the Peets have tied it again at three. I think Cuckoo's going to get the goal. As he maneuvered in from the blue line and ripped it past the goaltender, Patterson. They got the goods to do it, as mentioned. The number one penalty-killing unit in the OHL, but they'll be tested here. Watson at the blue line along with Marcini. Uh, back into Watson. He'll get it down low. Pumple camped out in front of the net. Quine will roll it along now to Marcini. Too many men on the ice for the Spirit. The triangle formation now being developed by Saginaw. Pumple back into Watson. Watson unleashes the shot in front. They score. Alan Quine in front of the net. And it's deja vu for the Spirit. As it was a similar situation last week in Sarnia. A penalty in overtime, and the Peterborough Peets celebrate as they break what was a 10-game winless streak here at the Dow Event Center.